Hey guys, Kevin here with the E-Trailer and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Bauer Products Camper Door Lock. So this Camper Door Lock is actually going to come with three different colors so that you can match the trim on your RV or trailer or wherever you're putting it on. Uh, it's going to come with a handle lock so that you can keep people from getting inside your camper as well as a deadbolt for added security, which you can see popping out. Uh, one awesome safety feature here is if, say, you have your kid in your trailer and somebody locks it, maybe you you got a couple of kids playing around and uh, they lock this side and think the trailer's locked, people can still get out just because the inside handle's still going to be unlocked so that nobody can get trapped inside your trailer. So one thing I do want to mention is that while the black, white, and chrome camper doors will come key to like if you order it that way, they will not come keyed to match whatever your other door handle already is. So if you have two doors that you want to replace the locks on to have them both keyed alike, you will need to purchase two. So I get this question quite a bit. It's uh, people asking how to replace the door lock just because maybe they lost a key, maybe the key broke off in the lock, or maybe the lock just isn't working anymore, the latch broke for whatever reason. Um, manufacturers don't actually list what type of door lock that they use. So the easiest and best bet to replacing your door lock is to actually remove the door lock and measure your cutout hole. So let me show you how we did that. So to measure your cutout hole, simply going to measure just the width, which we got, it's like about two and three quarters. And then the height is about three and a half. And then one other important measurement that you're going to want is the door thickness, which is right at an inch and three eighths. You will have to verify this with each uh, camper door lock, entry door lock uh, that you're wanting to purchase just to make sure that it actually is going to fit your door because there is a door thickness requirement and then also a minimum cutout requirement. If you There's multiple doors where the actual trim on the outside is going to be a whole lot larger especially if you get like a keyless entry one. So you wouldn't have to worry as much about that unless it's super close to the edge of the door if you have some trim or in our case, we've got another door lock in the way. So now I've gone over some of the features of our camper door lock here. Let me show you how I installed it. So to start off our installation, we're gonna have to remove our old entry door lock. To do that, you're gonna need to be on the inside of your door. It's gonna have most likely just four screws depending on your model. Pull these out. And then I'm also going to have to take off this kick plate right here. Now that I had that off, we can pull up our back plate. Pull our handle out and just slide that right out. All right, so now that we have our old entry door lock out, we're gonna stick our new one in. And that's gonna slide in just the same as the other one came out. Since I'm using the same brand here, the kick plate is going to match up. I can just reuse that and the screws that came with it. If you have a uh, different brand, you might wanna check just to verify, if not, it's usually going to come with all the hardware that you need to install. You're gonna to wanna to have that smaller side over towards the end of the door because this is just not gonna fit between the door lock and the gasket there. I'll screw this into place. Be careful you don't over tighten this and strip it out. And then now we can grab our back with our inside handle. So you may have to twist around your deadbolt just a little bit just to make sure it lines back up with our lever here. And then you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that your handle is on this side of the latch. Otherwise, when you put this on, if you already have it screwed on, you're not gonna be able to move the latch at all. So make sure it's flat while you press up against it and have our deadbolt in place. And we can put our screw in. And 
I'm not gonna tighten these all the way down yet just to make sure that I can get each of these screws in. Now that we got all the screws in place, we can go ahead and tighten them all down. And then as you can see, our entry door lock handles functioning as it should be. Our deadbolt as well. So you may be able to get away with just reusing your old kick plate. Um, really kind of just depends on the brand. Uh, with this, we already knew that we had a Bauer Products door handle on here. Uh, so it was no issue just reusing this again. But if, like I said, if you're using like Global Link, maybe any of the other brands, it might not work. Um, so one thing you are gonna have to look at when you're doing this is just also where the uh, bolt holes are gonna line up just with that new bracket if you do end up having to replace this. So now that we know this is a good fit for our utility trailer here, uh, I think that about does it for the installation of our Bauer Products Camper Door Lock. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.